illegal immigration is getting out of hand in America. Actually, no, it isn't. Illegal immigration has slowed and considerably under the Obama administration. Also, the number of deportations under the Obama administration? All-time high in the past 30, 40 years. More people are being deported because there has been funding there to deport them. And that funding does not apply to South American refugees. If it did, the problem would not exist. Ah! The rule of law is being ignored by politicians seeking to gain political advantage from a new wave of undocumented immigrants. First off, they are not undocumented immigrants. They are South American refugees from South America. As for a lawless administration, you know why President Obama has not sent these people back to South America? George W. Bush signed laws stating they may not do so. Ah! President Obama is forced to obey the laws that Ronald Reagan had passed that created the South American refugees. These are children from his freedom fighters. President Obama has to obey the laws that George W. or George H. W. Bush Bush one offered these people and their children sanctuary in the United States. President Obama has to obey George Bush 2's laws that stated these people are not to be sent back to South America. They are to be bused to detention centers near the border in the United States. Three different presidents in the executive office, all three United States Republican Party members, created the laws that dictate how President Obama is allowed to treat these people. Ah! I mean, ah! Ah! This insanity must stop immediately. We need to secure the border. The border is secure. These people showed up at the border demanding sanctuary, which was promised to them. They did not try sneaking across. Secure the border? The border is working. I mean an absolute shutdown. If we can secure the border between South Korea and North Korea, why can't we do the same between Mexico and Texas? Here we have a lily white Saxon, probably an angle, telling us the border should be secured. <sighs> Lady, you're about 800, 900 years too late. We have the most powerful military in the history of mankind. That's right, shoot the children. It's called the Department of Defense for a reason. Let us defend our homeland. And if necessary, Congress should appropriate funds to build a fence. Fen That's right, a 3,000 mile long fence. Never mind that the border that currently exists is working. Let's build a fence 20 feet high. Hey, I got an idea. Let's electrify that puppy. Let's put some landmines on both sides just so that the body counts are spread out on the Mexican side, not on the United States side, because then we may have to deal with all the rotting corpses. The fence is not the problem. Funding a fence is an asinine and idiotic suggestion. How about we change the laws that the Republican Party in the past 30 years have put in place that tie Obama's hands to deal with the problem write new laws, revoke those other ones, get some funding in there to deal with these people. Why don't we do that? This is work. Isn't there one around the White House? 
Furthermore, we can't give amnesty to 11 million illegal immigrants who are already here. I see that several senators, including the Republican Party Senator Mark Rubio, I believe his name is, has pointed out that these 11 million estimated illegal immigrants, they're paying income tax, they're paying sales tax, they're paying usage fees, they are generating three or four billion dollars in taxes coming into the federal and state governments where they are living every single year. Since they're paying into Social Security, as well as paying taxes and Social Security funds that they pay in, they will never receive because they are in the United States illegally. What happens when you somehow magically find all 11 million immigrants, illegal immigrants, and send them away? Where is that shortfall in money going to be made up? Hmm. Those individuals have broken the law, and we can't ignore the fact simply out of convenience. Immigrants flock to America for two reasons. They want jobs, or they want our entitlements. That's right. Illegal immigrants want jobs. How dare they? You know the jobs that they want? Below minimum wage? Maybe one or two dollars an hour, if that? This lady here would never want to do that work. As for entitlements, do you know how many entitlements illegal immigrants get in the United States when they come into the country illegally? One. That one entitlement is they are entitled to emergency medical care. That is it. That is the only entitlement, the only government service, the only anything that the United States government provides illegal immigrants. Hi. Medicaid, welfare, food stamps. No! Illegal immigrants do not qualify for any of those things. Illegal immigrants don't get any of those things. Even legal immigrants don't get those things until they have been in the country for five years, that's legal immigrants, and they can show that they have a job, and they can show that they have been paying income tax. Then they can qualify for those services, and yet only if they need them. Illegal immigrants do not get Medicare, Medicaid, or any other welfare. They don't get food stamps. They don't get uh, aid for their children. They don't get anything. Emergency medical care. That is all they are getting. That is all they are entitled to. Ah! So first we need to make it virtually impossible to receive any of these free services without proof of citizenship. It is already impossible for illegal immigrants to get those services. For United States citizens, it is goddamn difficult to get those services, let alone illegal immigrants that don't get those services. Ah, ah, ah! If you want welfare, you're gonna need to show us your birth certificate. We need you to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are an American citizen. That is already a requirement for receiving welfare. If you are not a United States citizen, you do not get welfare. Second, we must crack down on employers who hire illegal aliens. We need to send a message loud and clear if you hire a non-citizen, you go to jail. We need mandatory minimums and a Justice Department who has the will to make an example of violators. I agree 100%. Let's put the people who hire illegal aliens in prison and take away their right to vote. Guess which United States political party most of those people vote for? If illegal aliens can't find work or can't get free stuff, what will happen? They'll go home. And evidence shows that is exactly what they have been doing for the past five or six years.